of the people of Biafra in the land of Nigeria. And we are making it categorically clear today to the people that love freedom to help Biafra to actualize their sovereignty out of Nigeria. The Biafrans are dying on daily basis in millions. Biafrans are dying on daily basis in thousands. Boko Haram is killing the Biafrans on daily basis. Our churches in Nigeria is being bombed without any message. We are pleading for the good people of the land of Norway to support us in making our dream a reality. We are the people of Biafra. All Biafra. All Biafra. All Biafra.
We are in Nigeria, but we don't want to continue with Nigeria. Nigeria is killing the Biafrans every day. We are dying on daily basis in Nigeria, being killed by the Boko Haram in Nigeria. The cry of the babies of Biafra, we are shouting to the world today to hear us. Up Biafra!
Father, because you alone is our God, and we give you everything, we commit the movement into thy ever hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, and the one that came from very far place, Lord, we ask that you grant them Johnny mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, you say that wherever the soul of our feet through that they would have possessed, we are the people of Biafras, we are asking that the land of nowhere will begin to death to be obedient to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you because you are great God. And I cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover every beer from here with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover our freedom with the blood of Jesus Christ. And Father, without cutting, I pray that anyone that is here with one ailment or the other, Father, allow them to witness thy power. Heal them, Lord, that they will know of a truth that you are here with us. Deliver them, Jehovah, because you alone is God. I cover my people, my brothers and sisters here with the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus, thank you, because you are the true God of the Biafra. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. We are Biafrans. Today marks a turning point in our life. Today's demonstration marks a turning point in our life. That in Nigeria, we Biafrans are being killed in various places. In churches, in market squares, we have been bombed and killed by Boko Haram, the Islamic extremists. They are killing us, destroying us, destroying our properties. They don't want us to belong in, into Nigeria with them. Today marks a turning point in our life that we are, we are no longer Nigerians. Today marks a turning point in our life that we are Biafrans. We are not Nigerians. As from today, we are, we are called Biafrans and not Nigerians. We are not a member of that country, of that contraction state called Nigeria. Nigeria is a amalgamated nation by, a, by a, a Scottish man called Frederick Lugard. He amalgamated Nigeria in 1914. We, are, we have not been one with the Hausa Fulanis. We have not been one with the Yorubas. We have been on our own before the white man come from Scotland and amalgamated us as a nation in 1914. And following the amalgamation of 1914, it expires on the 31st of, of uh, December 2013. Nigeria expires as a nation. That signifies that the Biafran should go on their own, the Mohammedan Emirate of the North should go on their own, and the, the Yoruba should go on their own. Today marks a turning point in our, in our life with Biafrans that we will never, never be part of Nigeria, and that Nigeria will never, never be part of us. We stand for Nigeria, if we, we stand for Biafra, and Biafra will stand for. And, so this demonstration today is to let the world know that whatever activities we are carrying on in our land, that we are not criminals. Whatever activities we are carrying on, we are carrying the activities based on our struggle for independent state of Biafra. Today we call on the whole world, America, Britain, France, China, Russia, EU, we call on them to support us in our quest to restore our state, the independent state of Biafra. This is the only thing that will end the, 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 the upcoming bloodshed in Nigeria. The Boko Haram have, have shown it to the whole world that they are of Islamic State. The Boko Haram is champion for, they are championing Islamic State. And we cannot fold our hands to allow the Islamic extremist Boko Haram to, to, to dominate us with their Islam. We are not part of Islam. Islam is not part of us. And that, that is the end of the, the road. We are Biafrans and we are marching on for the restoration of independent state of Biafra. Thank you and God bless. I know it through the director, the manager in Norway, because he is attending the church where I attend. And uh, through him I get to know about the people of Biafra. So, uh, since he is the one gather all these people, so I have been the one uh, supporting him to drive here from Savanga and uh, to help in other issues. So that is how I get to know it through him. And uh, during 10 years of period, always we have people from Biafra in our church coming from asylum camps. And uh, they don't have a homeland, so they are traveling around the world like homeless people. 
and uh, I really see how they suffer like here in Oslo they don't have jobs they have no future no hope so they just move around all over the world many places you can find the, the people of Biafra in prison because they are forced to sell drugs on the street because they are not allowed to work where they are going. And uh, it's a big problem to the whole world, actually. And my wish for the Biafran people is to, for them to restore their homeland so that they can be as a free people as they're supposed to be. That is my highest wish, wish for them. Okay. My name is uh, Evangelist Lutatupu. Really louder. My name is Evangelist Lutatupu Okore, the national coordinator of indigenous people of Biafra, Norway. So I am uh, very, very happy for what happened today. The Lord God, the God of the Biafrans, He has decided that Biafra as a nation should be actualized. Uh, I would just like to say something that if not for the sake of the Lord God, the success that we have recorded so far in sensitizing the heart of our people, bringing everyone into the movement of as well as the of sovereign state of Biafra, the record that we have recorded so far is enormous. So if God is not with us, it will not be working as it is working right now. Something the Bible says in the book of Psalm 118, verse 5. He said that in my anguish I sought the Lord, and the Lord did what? He answered me and set me free. The people of Biafra, we are original people of God. But something happened on the process that our forefathers betrayed God and began to worship idols. So as a result of that, God became angry over us and they gave us out into slavery. So but these days, this generation which I am part of, has decided to embrace the God Chuku Abiyama. That is why God has now come to make our sovereignty a reality. In anguish, in anger, in pain, in misery, we have cried unto the Lord. And the Lord has heard our cry and uh, has come down to set us free. So I am giving all the glory unto the Lord God, whose name alone is Chuku Abiyama, whose name alone is Jehovah, for making this dream a reality. And I want to give it to him as well for uniting us together in the land of Norway. For I am shocked on how our people came out today to participate in our rally. Though I expected it because I knew that the Lord God is He who, who ordered my step, who made me to understand that this day, you know, will become a reality as it is. Before I close, I would also give thanks unto our director, the Ebo director Nande Kalo, the political voice of this movement. That is what God told me for His effort and what the Lord is using Him to do. I say that the Lord will richly bless him. The Lord will richly guide and protect his family. That is my own prayer for him on daily basis. So that the land of Biafra will be actualized and every citizen of Biafra will be free and uh, be happy and walk around the earth like the people of uh, the land where we are, the land of Norway, the land of Europe, so that we can be free as well as other people of the world. So this is what I have to say today. And I want to urge everyone, every citizen of Biafra land, to see this movement as genuine.
to see this movement as the only solution to liberate the people of Biafran out of contraptions called Nigeria. We are dying on daily basis in that land, being killed on daily basis, bombing our churches and uh, massacring us in numbers. The only way out is to come out every meaningful of Biafran, every meaningful Biafran to come out to support this particular movement so that our freedom will be actualized. Thank you and God bless the people of Biafra. God bless the Biafrans in Norway. God bless Nandekalo in Jesus' mighty name, I pray.